we are going to be creating a five-star awesome Le McDonald's. I'm going to make McDonald's expensive. And we are going to hire a real food critic to come in and see if he can tell the difference between our fancy McDonald's and just regular old $2.99 McDonald's meal. You actually went there? That is amazing. Know, Look at that. Right? Is that cheese on fire? That looks so good. Cheese is on fire. It's not that cool. I could make fire cheese right now if I wanted to. All he's doing is spending a bunch of money at stupid restaurants. You could have all of that right here at home. You didn't have to go to Miami, Logan. Jake, why are you so mad? I'm just telling the guys about my amazing trip to Miami I had this weekend. I ate at some of the best restaurants. I'm talking about sushi. Cheesy spaghetti that was burnt in a fire pit. A cheese. Burgers with truffle fries. Something you might not be familiar with because your diet is mainly McDonald's. Okay, my diet might consist mainly of McDonald's, but it's got me a strong as everyone knows, sophisticated food is just McDonald's moved around in different pieces. At the end of the day, everything is a Big Mac. It's bread, meat, a little bit of lettuce, and some sauce on the side. Whether you slap a $300 label or a $399 label on it, it's just McDonald's. Oh jeez, I can't afford either of them. Jake, you see this bite that I took right here? That one bite cost $20, Jake. $20? Yeah, and it was exquisite. Logan, it's people like you that feed into this kind of stuff. You are the problem. You know what? Just to prove you wrong, I bet you I could make my very own five-star McDonald's. Call it Le McDonald's. And serve dishes for $100 and we will sell out the whole kitchen. Well, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need my help, Jake, because I know how to be a sophisticated person. Fine, then we'll work together as a team. Well, if we're gonna be a team, you know the team handshake. Damn. Damn. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. But guys, not only do we have to get stuff to turn McDonald's food into five star food, Flip it. But we also need to get stuff to deck out our restaurants so we can look as fancy as possible. I don't know how much it is, but we could get real China. It's $800. Who goes out looking like that? Every nice restaurant needs breadsticks. Beef sauce. This is not sophisticated. You're not the food critic, okay? I'll let him decide. All of this stuff doesn't really make sense right now, but it will. You never know. Dollarama Pokemon cards could be fire. And take in, guys, our first dish. We're gonna charge more than all of this combined. Uh, Jake, why are we playing chess right now? We should really, you know, build the restaurant. Right after this Queen's Gambit. What? <laughs> All right, guys, so check it out. We now have all the stuff we need to build the world's most luxurious McDonald's. This needs to say that we've been like health certified. We haven't. So if you could print something out in here, you know, like I think most restaurants Jake, just do that. I don't think you understand what it takes to run a restaurant. Logan, I know how to run a restaurant, okay? Now, obviously we are gonna be ordering all of the food off the menu at the McDonald's and basically turning it into five-star gourmet food. But first, before we can even start working on our food, preparations of course we need to make the restaurant just you wait for what I have coming I want him to feel like he's in the wilderness like he's in a forest when you order my golden $1,000 McBurger you get a little presentation so I gotta practice we got something to order the burger $1,000 burger this guy's rich everyone look at him Okay, so we're just doing some finishing touches to the restaurant before our food critic arrives. We have tonight's menu, Le McDonald's, all the dishes. And I'm a little bit concerned Jake doesn't really understand the whole concept of fine dining. I'm trying to make this a luxury experience while Jake is kind of doing some mad scientist stuff. I don't know what he's planning on doing with this chocolate bunny. If you know how to present it, you can take this $5 tub of ice cream and sell it for $50. So we're gonna try a little experiment with a balloon and some dry ice. I present to you your disaster. Might not be fully ready. All right, guys, I think we found out how to deliver the ice cream. It's in the golden egg. Voila, your ice cream. Whoa, and that's like $45. What are you doing? Get the eggs gonna blow up. What do you mean? I don't know, I can't close a little too tight, I think. Is it leaking? No. Oh, no. Well, Check it. Yeah. There's no air coming out of it. Jay. Guys, this is what it's all about when you're cooking in a kitchen. Sometimes things get really dangerous. If you guys didn't know, if you put dry ice in a closed container, it creates a lot of gas and an explosion. 
False alarm, we're good! The egg has been disarmed. Guys, we need to go over tonight's menu. For starters, we have the Big Mac sauce stick, that's chicken you. nugget bomb. That's me. The one fry. That's me. Palate cleanser. That's, uh, oh. So after every single meal, he needs to cleanse his palate so he can get ready for the next meal. Check it out. We've got chicken sauce, beef sauce, and sriracha sauce, all of which should burn anything on his tongue right off. Did he cleanse the palate? Ah, yes. For our main course, we have the gold burger, Big Mac fries, Big Mac sushi roll. For dessert, McFlurry poppers, chocolate fondue. I can't wait to cover every piece of McDonald's in chocolate. What's going on in here? Bell! There's a fire! Stop, drop, and roll! Bell, what are you doing? The fire is like 40 minutes ago. It's done! All right, yeah, bring the McDonald's through here. Keep it moving, guys. We got a busy night tonight. Don't let them see you like this. Oh, yeah. And this officially means we are open for business. Jake, what are you eating? Our guest is about to arrive any minute. Well, I gotta eat, Logan, if I'm gonna prepare food for other people to eat. Why are you eating from our restaurant? Our restaurant? That stuff's gonna kill me. Yes, God. that's what I'm talking about. Logan, I think you bought the whole McDonald's, though. We really did. Look at all that McDonald's. Bill, you can't eat our produce. What do you mean, Logan? Look at all the McDonald's. Donald's. It's for customers only. We can't eat all the food. For dessert, we have McFlurry poppers. They're gonna be frozen little McFlurry bites. Leave a like on this video. Let's try and get 20,000 likes if you think you'd actually eat here. Who wouldn't eat here, Logan? It's literally McDonald's. No, this is fancy McDonald's. Now we are going to pop our McFlurry poppers inside the freezer. Definitely gonna need some Big Mac sauce over here for the consistency. Yeah, put it right in there. There we go. <laughs> There we go. That does look pretty nice. Perfect. Now they're injected with Big Mac sauce. Really? Gold flakes? It's like $10 per sprinkle. The one fry. I don't think this is going to work out very well. This is the lockbox for what will be the golden Big Mac. It is one of the most expensive items on our menu. Presentation is absolutely beautiful. Where's the Big Macs? Wait, Jake, is that a double Big Mac? Oh, yes, it is, Phil. That's like $30 worth of gold. Oh, yeah, Phil. You no, know, rappers always talk about gold on their wrists. Now, this is gold in your tummy. It's even cooler. The Big Mac is ready. Oh, it my. is closed in here and locked up beautifully. We got the Big Mac sauce stick. The plating is the most important part. It didn't work the way I wanted. Logan, those are our breadsticks. Let's go to first. Get it done. This is something I learned in cooking school. You might have got some bad advice in cooking school, Logan. It's <laughs> art. Honestly, I think it's coming along pretty well. That's a fancy plate right there. So one of the things we're doing for dessert is we're going to have chocolate covered everything on the McDonald's menu. Now, first off, we got to melt our chocolate. So I've got some dollar store chocolate here. No one has to know. The chef game, dude. I don't know if I can handle it. What do you mean? It's stressful. Dude, we're doing a good job. So far, the dishes are coming along. Every Everything's going well. Okay. Is the oven still on? There we go, guys. We've got the melted milk chocolate. Whoa. And when he cuts into it, le perfecte. That actually looks so fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go right into the fridge so the chocolate will harden so we have something to cut into. But finally, we are going to sprinkle gold flakes. Not too much, but not too little. Voila. This will be the hardest dish of my night. The Big Mac sushi, which I have never made. I'm extremely nervous. We are going to deconstruct the Big Mac here. All the ingredients separate. Pickles, our lettuce, Big Mac sauce, our burger, cheese, and we can't forget about our french fries. Right now we're getting the Big Mac bun all toasty. Perfect texture. McDonald's at its finest. It actually tastes like really good. So when we present the golden egg, I'm going to make a line of fire around it. It's like fire and ice coming together. I don't want to be anywhere near this. Imagine Ryan Shield, bitch! Ryan Shield! Imagine the golden egg steaming with smoke from the ice. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna work on it, but you get the idea. Gotta roll that tight. Oh yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Big Z, my hand's starting to burn. Big Z, get it on that plate. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Thanks. Oh no. Thanks. I'm Thanks. sorry. The Big Mac sushi roll. It actually looks so good. 
Jake, there's just a few things on the menu we haven't cooked, but we're oh, almost no, no, no. there. Okay, we're gonna have to get these cooked real fast because he's gonna be here any second. We need to prove to this food. Jake! Yes? It's not any second, it's right now! He's here? He's here! Guys, listen to me. If we can fool this food critic and he actually think that this is thousands of dollars worth of food, then we have completed this challenge successfully. But if he suspects anything, then I was right and going out to restaurants is actually the better way to eat food. I was gonna say we might go to jail. I, I don't know what the copyright on McDonald's is. Mm -hmm. Please come Wait, in, come thank in. Thank you so much yes. for having me. Yes. Wow. Oh, there he is, dude. Dude, he's tall. I know. Apparently all food critics are tall. It's a known fact. Please, please, please. Be seated. Give me a big smile. Three, two, one. Say cheese. I have eaten at some of the finest restaurants all over the world. I expect that this food is going to be top of the notch. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll okay. be good. Yes. Thank you. For our starters, we have the Big Mac sauce stick. Is he, are you sure that's what it's called? That's what the head chef wrote down. Are you sure it's called the Big Mac sauce stick? Big Mac sauce stick. 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 Like sticky. Got it. Uh, great. Well, okay. Let's go. Great. Jake, we have a problem. I can see the problem, Logan. I can see it right in front of me. Not only is this guy the real deal, yeah. but the food is turning green. Yeah, I, I think we might have been scammed, Logan. I don't think those are gold flakes. I think they're copper flakes because copper turns green and that is turning green. And what's the Big Mac sauce sticks? These are yours. Take them out and explain how amazing they are and why they're worth $50. I can't do that. To, I know this is... Look at me. It may just be a bunch of dollar store stuff, but to them out there, it's expensive. It's fancy. Sell it. All right, right here we have the Big Mac sauce stick. Wow. How does it taste? <clears throat> Interesting. What, why are these flakes green? Um, one second. Jake, he's wondering why the gold flakes are green. Oh, uh, well, sir. The gold flakes are green because green is the color of money and uh, everything here is the utmost expensive. So we took traditional gold and infused it with dollar bills to make it even more expensive for your taste. I also have here a aged bottle of Sunny D. Recently, um, they did an excavation of Rome and they found that uh, the Romans used to drink Sunny D a thousand years ago. So this is actually from uh, Caesar's. Phil, that's enough water, Phil! Get out of here! This is the uh, Sunny D that uh, Julius Caesar himself drank from. Check it out, it lights up. It, it does also light up. Please enjoy as much of it as you would like. Uh, in fact, here. I don't think it's going that great. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Everyone's pulled together, take a deep breath. I think it's going amazing. <sighs> no, it's not. Is that thing on fire? I don't know. Get the sauce on, get the sauce on. That looks good. Where's the palate cleanser? Give him the sriracha, let's, let's really Jake, clean that you, palate. Jake, are you sure we're still going with the palate cleanser? Yes, we're still going with the palate cleanser. No. Fancy restaurants do it. What is going on with that noise? Yeah, get the riot shield out. Did you know he was in danger? No, 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 no. no. This is the chicken nugget bomb. Chicken nuggets infused with Big Mac sauce and of course, gold sprinkled on top. You know, just so you can eat more money. There you go, all right. So, uh, how are those uh, nugget bombs? Um, interesting. Thank you. It was all going good in my head. I had it all planned out, and now it's not going like what it looked like in my head. He's not liking anything. Did he say something? His face, dude, he doesn't look happy. Okay, maybe when he's not looking, look at his notes. Take a look at them, see if he's written anything bad about us. Logan, Logan, go give this to him. It'll save the day. Give him the picture. All right, we have your complimentary photo. I'm just gonna place that right there so you can remember your experience at Le McDonald's. Let me do it this time. You guys are messing up everything. You guys, stay in here. Don't make any noise. I'd like to present to you the third starting dish. Uh, this is called the Le One Fry. Wonderful. In traditional McDonald's fashion, you would have a large box of fries, all individually made. But we thought we would take a different approach to it and create one beautiful fry. It is seasoned, aged, everything you could want in your food. And uh, there is a candle here, so let me just... Oh, remarkable. Very popular on its people's Same birthdays. Same money infused flakes, I see. Uh, more money infused flakes, yes. All $100. Uh, American bills too. Impressive. Um, I think he's starting to turn around. What are you guys doing? Put that down, dude. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Bad. bad. I'm sorry. Bad. 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 No, that I is never see. I never see. I never see. The next dish is going to be a main course dish. <sighs> yes, that's the attitude I want. Now, Logan mm -hmm. is going to put on a show. Logan, you're doing your show. It's time? It's time. Okay. I'm going to paint you a painting that you can keep forever. There you go, only at Le McDonald's! Alright, and there it is, your own 
personal painting. Beautiful. Wow. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. You know what, Logan, you did your best. Logan, this is your creation, please. Bring it to him. I, I can't bring it to him. Why? I can't handle the pressure. I can't handle anymore. You have to do it, please. Go. Eat the one fry, 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 fry. Enjoy. You don't have to eat the whole thing, but this is a dish that we would charge $700 for. $700. You know what, just eat around the bubbles. Uh, well. Okay, Logan, I know he's scared. I know he's tall. I know he's really good looking. But that shouldn't stop you from being the chef I know you are. So you take your Big Mac sushi, rolls out, and pick that up off the ground. It's fine, five second roll. And you make sure he eats every last bite. Also, maybe try and like, you know, get some info out of him. Like, how's he feeling? What's his vibe at? I can't tell, man, he's like a poker face. Don't touch my book. You're right. It's confidential information. Not touching look at it. All right, now it's time for probably one of the most exquisite, my favorite meals of the night, the Sushi Big Mac. Mm. Is that a hair? A hair? Oh, no. I don't think so. Enjoy. Sir, I heard there might have been a hair. I just want to explain that any hair in the food actually is from uh, rhinos. Very fancy, expensive hair. Enjoy, this is one of my favorite dishes. I take it home some nights and just eat it by myself in the bathroom. I love rhinos. Thank you for what you're doing for me. Jake, the rhino's heard in the making of that dish. Uh, the rhino that here that you are eating, he is totally alive, not not dead. Guys, this is the first dish I've seen him actually eat. There's already four sushi rolls gone. This is remarkable. Mm. Delicious. Can you make me some of these to go, please? Of course. Jake, I can't do it anymore, man. Wait, wait. I'm exhausted. Guys, he's really enjoying it. Yes. He, he ate all five. All five? That's really good. Even with the hair, because that wasn't rhino hair fair. That was like probably my hair. I think that was his favorite burn. <sighs> I do have good tasting hair. Okay, then you know what? Look alive. Come on, Logan. We're giving him the golden burn. Okay, all right. We all come in as a line. Ooh. One million karat gold. It smells like coconut. That's the wood. Follow me. This guy's rich. This guy's rich. I will present to you the most expensive item on our dish. It is a golden double Big Mac, one million carat gold, weighing in at four pounds. This thing is not only extremely heavy, but also over $17,000. Enjoy. It's beautiful. Every bite is like eating a PlayStation 5, literally, because it's that expensive. Now enjoy. He's rich, everyone, look at this guy. Ever. How is it? Good. Is it good? Dumb good. Dumb good, right? What about smart good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Food Critic, I've been told for your next meal it is required sunglasses. So we have two beautiful pairs here. The other's choice. Take the gold. Of course. Oh, uh, there you go. Watch the hair. Oh, Thank you. Sorry. Perfect. It is perfection. I think he likes the sunglasses. Oh, oh, you almost ate every bite. Sir, one of the second last dishes of the night is uh, what we call a McFlurry bomb. Uh, G, G. And of course, wait for the uh, entire show to happen before eating. Interesting. Bet you never get this at uh, no. McDonald's. I have not. Jake, it's starting to smell in here. Give it a second. Give it a second. Jake, everything was going so well. Get them all together. Okay. Yeah. Of course, the McFlurry Bombs. All right guys, listen up. This is the grand finale. This is our last shot at making this the most- Okay, you gotta look up. He's running a restaurant's hard. No, we're giving him the chocolate covered McDonald's meal. We are going to give him the most intense experience ever. On behalf of the staff here at Lynn McDonald's, we would like to present to you the final meal, 15 karat gold chocolate covered McDonald's meal. And of course, with the spectacle comes sensation. Whoa! It's like you're dining in the clouds. Please eat this, and if you oh, feel lightheaded, uh, leave the room immediately.
Well, I mean, we brought you here for a reason and that was to give us the official restaurant rating. After you try the food, the experience, this is everything that you will experience in our McDonald's restaurant. Of course, the location would be downtown prime real estate, but all in all, what do you say? Food, experience, music, paintings, uh, and, and that photo you can take home. Well, um, I must say, after lots of consideration, Five stars! Five stars! Oh!